Hi guys, it's KLKS na Knowledge Learned, Knowledge Shared. Our KLKS tutorial is all about string manipulation. Actually, almost all of the programming languages uses the string manipulation. But for easy creation of simulation, we will be using the Microsoft Excel string manipulation. KLKS na tayo! What is MS Excel string manipulation? Excel has many functions to offer when it comes to manipulating text strings. Okay, so let's start with our string manipulation using the Microsoft Excel. So the first one we call it the join. To put a cell string, use the join operator or symbol for the ampersand. And concatenate means to join more than one string in a cell. Okay, join and concatenate having the same, the same functionality in terms of the string manipulation. Let's have the demonstration to identify the join and the concatenate function. Para sa demonstration, we will be using the worksheet 1, wherein we do have the surname, student surname, name, and middle name. So, we do have full name join and the full name concatenate. So, in other words, pag sinabi natin full name join and full name concatenate, iisa lang ang function yan. To put together different cells. Ang pagkakaiba lang, the syntax on using the join and the concatenate. Okay, so let's have the formula itself. So, equal sign. So, we, if you wanted, you can type the cell. Ibig sabihin, if you wanted to put together B1, just type B1. Pero, uh, the easiest way is to select that cell. So, ako, I myself, I will be selecting the surname, then followed by the ampersand, followed by the name, and followed by the ampersand, and the middle name. So, I do have now Kison Ronald Jacinto. So, if I will be dragging this formula, automatic I do have now, putting together the surname, the name, and the middle name. But if you will notice sa uh, example natin, wala tayong space. So, it's okay if you will going to put spaces in between or even comma right after the surname. So, let's try to enhance the formula. So, in other words, you will be putting a, or a comma between the surname and the name. So, double quote, comma, space, space, double quote, ampersand. So, ampersand, double quote, double quote, ampersand. Okay, so let's try to run. So, ito, kulang to ng ampersand. Eh. So, ampersand. Okay. So, I do have now, surname, right after the surname, comma, space, Ronald, the name, space, and then the middle name. So, let's try to so I have here the formula using the using the ampersand or we call it the join. Okay, sa pangalawa naman we do have the concatenate. How are you going to use the concatenate? So equal sign concatenate. So we do have the concatenate as one of the formula. So all we have to do is to click the tab key. Then again, same scenario. If you wanted to type the cell, it's okay. If you wanted to select the cell, it's also okay. So comma together with the, own, uh, the name and the middle name okay so we do have now the surname the name the middle name without space so let's put spaces or even comma in separation of the name as well as the surname so let's have the let's try to enhance the formula so same scenario in other words we will be putting double quote comma space space double quote comma and in between the name and the middle name, double quote, double quote, comma, enter. Okay, so we do have now the formula itself. Okay, so drag that sila pareha. Pwede na. Okay, so that's it for the join and the concatenate. Next in line, we do have the left function, mid function, and the right function. So, the left function extract the 
the leftmost character from the string, while the mid function extract the middlemost character from the string, and the right function extract the rightmost character from the string. Okay, let's have the demonstration to identify the functionality of the left function, the mid function, and the right function. To identify the functionality of the left, the mid, and the right function, so I still I am using the worksheet for the student surname, name, middle name, and the, the course. Start with the left function, so equal sign. Let us assume, uh, common name, once we are using the middle name, we are identified with the middle initial. So no need for the middle name, but the, only the first letter of the, uh, middle, uh, the middle name. Okay, so in other words, we will be using the left function. So, you have to type the word left, then identifying the cell, okay, which is D2, then comma 1, enter. So, in other words, J lang yung output niya. Okay, if you wanted to identify the period right after the first letter, so, in other words, we will be using the upper sign. Ampersand, double quote, period, double quote. Okay, so, pwede na siyang i-drag. Kaya nga lang, ang pagkakaiba nito, hindi siya ba pwede sa, para sa lahat? What does it mean? So, pag uh, dinag ko siya hanggang dulo, ang kukuha rin niya lang yung first letter. As we all know, meron tayong mga apply doon na dalawa-dalawa. Pag halimbawa ng delatory, di lang kukunin niya. Okay, so same scenario. Actually, sa tatlong ito, masigamitin si left function, kasa kay mid function, at saka kay right function. Okay, let us try to use the right function muna. So, equal sign right, and tab. So, assuming, kukun naman natin yung course niya, yung first three letter lang ng course niya. Okay, so first three letter, or first two letter, then, comma 2. Okay. So, center natin na output. Okay. So, para sila na ang parameter. Ang ibig sabihin, when it comes to parameter, okay. Ang ibig sabihin, we are using the cell, then a number. Same true with the left function. We are using the cell followed by a number. Okay. What about the mid function? Okay, so the mid function identify yung hindi kinaya ni left function kanina. So, kanina sabi nga natin, kung ang aplido mo o middle name mo ay dalawa, si left function, isa lang ang makukuha niya. Pero kay mid function, so, pwede niya kuhanin yung gitnang letter. Let's take for example, eto kagaya halimbawa kay, yun niya lang, ang, ang, ang disadvantage ay uh, syempre hindi siya applicable para sa lahat hindi siya, in other words, hindi siya pwede i-drag pag dinag mo yung formula iba-iba uh, yung output niya so, pinapersonalize ang mid function, example so, let's take for example itong de la Cruz we wanted to use the de la Cruz in terms of yung letter C yung letter C lang gusto natin kuhanin sa de la Cruz niya Okay, so in other words, you will be using the mid function, then tab. Always remember that the mid function uses three parameters. The first parameter, D7, is the cell. The second parameter is a number. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, pang 6, 6, comma 1. Kung ilan yung letter, yung 6, pa, pang ilan beses, o pang ilang character ang bibilangin niya. Then after that, after that, yung susunod na number, kung ilan namang letter ang i-output niya. Okay, so kagaya nito, so we call it C. So, ito applicable kung parehas sila ng value in terms of character length. We call it the mid function. Pero as I have said, hindi siya applicable para sa lahat. Okay? So, in other words, mid function uses an identity of the character value. So, assuming, um, hanap pa tayo ng iba pang uh, dilatore. So, again, we will be using mid equal sign mid function 
Then the first parameter is the cell. Then followed by six again. Six. Six comma one. Close parenthesis. Then enter. Okay. So okay. We we call it the left function, the mid function, and the right function. So we don't have to call it. But we can call it. As long that we will be using the ampersand to put them together, so okay lang din. We call it the lower function, the upper function, and the proper function. So as the name implies, once we are using the lower function, it converts a text string into lowercase. The upper function converts the text string into the uppercase, and the proper, it converts a text string into a proper case. Okay, so let's have the demonstration for the functionality of the lower, the upper, and the proper function. Okay, so it is easy to use the lower, upper, and proper function. All you have to use is to use equal sign, then type the function lower, then open parenthesis, then let us assume we wanted to output the surname into lowercase then press enter so if it is upper equal sign upper tab of to uh, identify the open parenthesis then followed by let us assume we wanted to output the surname into uppercase and of course proper equal sign proper so actually proper is the identity of Declaring the text wherein the first letter is in the capital letter. So let's try to identify the functionality. Then drag it. Okay. So we do have the lower, upper, and the proper. Okay, next in line, we do have the find function to find the position of a substring in a string. We call it text exact function. It compare a text with the output of true or false. Same value of a text. So, equal sign find. Together with, we wanted to, the first parameter of find uses uh, a string. So, let us assume I wanted to find out if the letter, if the name of of every column having the word ed or eds okay then i will be using this one so in other words uh, we do have the value as the output it simply identify okay for the find function okay so the output will become value if the text that you wanted to find out on the cell do not match the value so the output will give you a number identifying that the letter that you wanted to find out is on the position 2 just like teddy so ed is on the position 2 or in other words one letter t is 1 E identify with 2 so on the position 2 the word end is found okay so same scenario with this one so if you wanted to find out if you have the same name let us assume you are using the find to find out if you do have your the same name on the list of voters all you have to do is to use the find function what about the exact Okay, in the terms of exact, it is actually case sensitive. So, why? Because you are trying to find out two different cells if the two different cells come up with the same value. Okay, so what does it mean? So, I will be adding an additional column just for us to identify the functionality of exact. Okay, so insert. Okay, so for the exact function, so let us assume we call it uh, Ronald. Okay. Then Rosemary. Rosemary. Then Teddy. 
then George. Okay, so let us go now with this one. So equal sign exact, exact. Then after that, by the way, you can click tab. No? So tab identifies that you are using a formula that is under the function. So equal sign. Then you wanted to compare if you do have the same value, comma. Then this one. Okay, so just like the example of exact for Ronald and Ronald, so it, it is false because Ronald is not the same as Ronald. So let us try to drag. Okay, if it is true, it simply identifies that the value of two comparing cells is the same. So we call it true or false for, for the output. In line, we do have substitute function to replace existing text with new text in a string. Uh, we do have three parameters. So, let us use the substitute. So, we do have the cell, the text or the cell. Let us assume we wanted to use the, the name as our value to, to identify. Then, let us assume we wanted to use any value inside that cell that is letter A and we wanted to change letter A into asterisk okay then enter okay in other words all you have to do is to drag so we call it the substitute function so of course if there will be no letter A on the text the output will be the same value just like Teddy George or even Antonio because based on our value we are using a small letter A Antonio is in a capital letter A so substitute uses a case sensitive value we call it the length function to get the length of a string Translation of the length function assuming we do have the full name that was created using join function so we will be using the length function so the length function uses the length as the syntax then tab or you if you wanted you can use open parenthesis then the cell then press enter so 23 identifying the value of every character together with a comma and space using the length function so thank you for watching klks hope you learned something see you on our next tutorial God be the glory. Thank you.